the modern day kid would call this a hack, maybe? Because it's not really a recipe. But I want to show you and explain to you the kind of concept behind this as to how to get your kids and you to eat more fruit. And it's very, very simple. When you think about it, a packet of crisps, a uh, packet of sweets, a chocolate bar, uh, it's all very convenient, isn't it? Walk in, take it off the counter, oh, 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 done, okay? So how about we bring that concept and that mentality to fruit? And if we make it that convenient and that easy for kids to open up the fridge and grab some, well then hopefully it's gonna make it so much more appealing for them to eat fruit. The key that we need to do in Ireland is the majority of the fruit that we import is utter crap but means you just gotta buy it maybe say four or five days or maybe even a week in advance to have it ready so that it ripens because it's just not ripe. That's the difference. So you go in, you get a pineapple, you get a melon, you get all this kind of stuff and I'm about to show you everything. That's exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna make your life very easy. I'm gonna make everything simple. I'm gonna show you how to get more fruit into you and your kids. Have a look at what we've done here. It's not rocket science. Here I have done up already some Kiwis, some plums, some nectarines. And let me show you exactly what I've done. So I've done about five or six of each. We get our plum, very simple, you don't need, to, it's not rocket science, as I said, this isn't a recipe. And we're just gonna split it in half. We do the same with our nectarine. Our, uh, what else can we get in there? Um, boom, 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 I'm trying to think, I can't think, nectarine, uh, peach, uh, any of that kind of stuff. And we're just gonna peel our kiwi here as well. And the key to it is to make sure that everything is nice and ripe. So I bought these about, maybe three, four days ago, and everything is right. I'll show you the pineapple, and I'll tell you how long I bought that ago. It'll actually shock you. Get rid of my little peel. This is simple. Can you see the board? Yeah. So I'm just cutting it in half, cutting it in half. Dicey O'Reilly, same, cut it in half. It's not rocket science. You cut it to the size of your mouth. You're basically making this um, bite-sized pieces. So my plum, my nectarine, and the great thing is, and I'm gonna to explain to you what exactly, or why exactly, uh, and this is brilliant. Anybody who has, I know there's quite a few people here that actually have guest houses, and they get ideas from dishes that I do to put into their guest house for, to get the pith or the stone or whatever you wanna call it, for the plum and the nectarine. I always find they come out so much easier the riper the fruit is, okay? So if you're kind of struggling to get the pith or the stone out, it tends to mean that the fruit isn't as ripe as you would like. So turn it over, and in fairness to supermarkets, in fairness to supermarkets, they are beginning to get in better quality fruit. They are getting in uh, some premium. It's amazing that you have to call some of these ripe fruits premium. It just means that the other stuff must be utter shite. Uh, and it is, because it's a pity, because it's just not ripe. So look, how easy is that? That goes into your fridge, okay? So in the morning time, for your breakfast, bit of yogurt, bit of your fruit, a little bit of honey, maybe a couple of nuts or seeds or whatever you're into, and there you go, it's done. So three, four, five minutes maximum work in a day, prepares a tub like that, and that is good in your fridge for three or four days. That will not go off for three or four days, and it'll be eaten within three or four days because it's beautiful and ripe. Simple thing, and proof is in the pudding here because my damn kids got at this already. Raspberries, beautiful raspberries, Irish raspberries, and blueberries, just take them out of the plastic tub and put them into one tub like that. So they open up the fridge and they go nom, 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 nom. and they eat it. We want to make it convenient. We want to make it easy for them. Simple. That's the whole concept. So there's two little tubs done already of fruit and it's beautiful and it's delicious. An orange. An orange is easy, isn't it? Yeah, but let's make it easier. So you remember anybody who used to play sports back in the day? They used to just give us an orange at halftime because it was simple and it was easy. So just cut it up into portions for them so that they can open the fridge. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, right, if this doesn't work, I will buy you a pint whenever I meet you because it's the concept of it. And also imagine if we've got loads of fruit in the fridge and no crisps and no junk in our cabinets. Well then of course, they're gonna start eating more fruit so look at that, simple, that's only four oranges. And the guys come home from school, they come home from wherever, from a match, they come home from whatever they've been out doing. Mom, dad, what have we got to eat? Have a snack guys, get some fruit out of the fridge. 
and it is as simple as that, okay? No hard work, as I said, there's no real recipe to this. It's the concept, it's what I'm trying to show to you as to how to get more fruit into them. So that is done. Listen, if you don't have as much room in the fridge, particularly say the oranges, just cover it, put an airtight container, cover it with some sort of a lid, cling film, tin foil, whatever, and just leave it on the side of the counter so they can grab them, okay? Now here, so look at this. I want to show you this pineapple. See this pineapple? Have a guess when I bought it? I bought it 12 days ago because it's like rock hard when I bought it. Actually, that, that sounded rock hard. It's not, this one actually isn't rock hard. You can see, see the way it's gone browner here on the skin. That means it is ripened beautifully. Touch it, even when you're in the supermarket, touch it. Feel it, is there a tiny little bit of give in it? Perfect, that's what I want. This melon that I bought, a cantaloupe melon, I bought this yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday. And it's not ripe, but I bought it because in about four or five days, it'll be perfect. And all this fruit will be gone, and then I have a lovely ripe melon. And I'll do the same thing. I'll cut it in half, take out the seeds, and then I'll slice it like I just did the orange. Okay, but that'll be done in four or five days. My pineapple, back down to the board. I'm just going to top and tail it. Look at this, one beautiful, beautiful pineapple. This only takes a couple of seconds as well. And it's amazing, because when you're away on holidays and you're in Jamaica and you're on the beach or you're going down somewhere and you see all these beautiful, I'll bring that up a little bit, bring you, uh, you see this man selling beautiful uh, pineapples and maybe a guy beside him selling them dodgy DVDs. Do they still do that? Is that still a thing? I don't know. But anyway, you go, mm, this pineapple is amazing. We can do the same here, but we need to buy it at least a week in advance. Trust me, the pineapples in the supermarkets, they're nowhere near ripe, at least a week. So I've topped and tailed, and then I shall take off the skin on the side. Very, very simple, nothing difficult. But trust me, if you do this, you will see huge improvement in the kids. I don't have kids, well then, in you, in the amount of fruit that you eat. I can actually smell the, the natural sugars in that pineapple, it is so perfect. You can actually smell it, well you can't, but I can. You will, if you do what I tell you to do. Cut it down in half. Let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Cut it down in half again. And then you take out this woody part. Some people eat that, but like some people are into being tied up and all kinds of stuff. Whatever you're into. I wouldn't personally eat it. It's like eating a piece of wood. But whatever you're into. I don't like it. Some people do. So we cut it in half and then we just cut it bite-sized chunks. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to try one there. Mm. Like it's like eating, it's like eating pure honey. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my God. The only thing that's missing that is a little bit of coconut milk and a nice shot of Bacardi to make a beautiful pina colada. That is beautiful. Oh my God, that one is absolutely fantastic. Perfectly timed. There's a little bit of, I know there's a bit, a bit of a blue in that. So I'm gonna take that one out. And then I just cut it all up like so. How simple is this? How quick is this? As I said, four or five minutes work. And can you see this, what I'm doing? So I've cut it in half. I'm gonna take out that stalk part in the middle. So I cut it, that half into another half, which makes it a quarter. And then come down at a, kind of a 45 degree angle. And that cuts out all the woody, stalky part. Same here, cuts out all the woody, yuck, stalky part. And then we just cut it all up. As I said, there is absolutely nothing complicated to this. It's the concept that we're trying to do. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful. That piece there has the same bruise as my other piece, so I'll take that one out. And there we go. A couple of minutes work. The key to it is to buy your fruit a little bit in advance. Oh my God, the smell of that pineapple is just absolutely amazing. Oh, hang on, I'll show you. I'll actually do a picture of all of it. Look, beautiful pineapple. My orange is done. My berries in a tub. And all my mixed fruit for yogurts or just little hot pots or little whatever you want to make. It's the concept. That's what I want you thinking. That's what this page is all about. Using your brain. There's nothing complicated, but it certainly makes your life a hell of a lot easier. I am now off to have my breakfast and have a little bit of selection of fruit with a lovely natural yogurt, a little bit of wild organic honey, and uh, put, put the feet up for a bit. Oh my God, beautiful. See you soon.